This lab focuses on the Sierra National Forest in California. You'll be working with habitat data for two threatened and endangered birds, the Southwest Willow Flycatcher and the Spotted Owl. In this first task, I'm going to do some data preparation by clipping some data to the National Forest boundary. Here I have QGIS desktop open with the Sierra National Forest shapefile and the California Spotted Owl Home Range Core shapefile loaded. In this case, I'm only interested in the data covering the Sierra National Forest. Notice that the spotted owl data covers far more territory than the forest. Therefore, I'll clip the spotted owl data to the forest boundary. Clip will create a new shapefile consisting of the spotted owl polygons within the forest boundary. It's standard protocol to clip data sets to the extent of the study area. It reduces data to only that which needs to be processed and makes processing and rendering faster. Before conducting a spatial analysis, I need to ensure that all the involved layers are in the same coordinate reference system. So I'm going to check that right now. So I'll double click on the Sierra National Forest layer, go to the General tab of Layer Properties, and I'll see that this is in a California Albers, EPSG code 3310. Now I'll look at the Spotted Owl data set, and I can see that it's in the same CRS. Now that I've verified that, I'll use the Clip tool to cut the Spotted Owl habitat data to the forest boundary. I'll find that at the Vector menu, under Geoprocessing Tools, Clip. So the input vector data set here is going to be the Spotted Owl data, and the Clip layer is going to be the Sierra National Forest. I'll click Browse to save the output shapefile, and I'm going to navigate to my Lab 4 Data, My Data folder, and I'll name this resulting layer Sierra Spotted Owl. With that said, I'll click OK. Q just processes the data, it's done. And I'll click Close. Let me turn off the original data set, and you can see this has now been clipped. And you notice with the Clip tool, if I zoom down to this southern boundary, it will literally cut polygons in half at the boundary. With that done, I can remove the original data set. It was an intermediate data set, and I'll just keep the clipped Spotted Owl data set in my map. In the next task, I'll use the intersection tool to identify areas common to both species. 